Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has started preparatory work for the commissioning of the last Project 15B destroyer. The Indian Air Force is set to bolster its strategic capabilities with the deployment of 120 Praley short-range tactical ballistic missiles in 2025, while the Army will induct them in 2026. The backward-facing exhaust of Limited Series Prachand helicopter has been replaced with upward-facing exhaust in production units, that has reduced heat signature and improved operational performance. Qatar has quoted a price of 416 crore rupees per aircraft for the 12 retired Mirage 2000, but the Indian Air Force is currently engaged in negotiations to bring down the price to 300 crore rupees per aircraft. India has exported a range of small arms to the Moroccan Armed Forces, that includes 5.56 x 45 mm, 7.62 x 39 mm and 12.7 x 108 mm calibers. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has laid the foundation stone of very low frequency station in Telangana, for secure and real-time communication with warships and submarines. The Ministry of Defence has sought additional funds from the Finance Ministry, to sustain and scale up the IDEX scheme. As the Indian Air Force is looking to retire its fleet of Jaguar deep strike aircraft from 2028, the Air Force has started looking beyond manned platforms for its next generation of deep penetration strike capability. An Indian Air Force official has revealed that the Air Force is currently evaluating two programs for the development of an unmanned deep penetration strike platform, and talks are ongoing to define the exact specifications of this platform, with a focus on achieving a balance between stealth low cost and significant payload capacity. According to reports from African media outlets, the Democratic Republic of Congo's Air Force is making a determined effort to replace its aging Su-25, and India has emerged as a key partner in this process. A high-profile delegation from the Congolese Air Force visited New Delhi, and discussed the potential acquisition of the Tejas Mark I aircraft with senior defense officials and HAL representatives. The 5th and last S-400 squadron will be delivered to India in 2025, which is seven years after the initial contract signing with Russia, and experts have said that during this time, the S-400 system has evolved greatly, but the Indian Air Force's ability to leverage its improvements has diminished due to geopolitical uncertainties, specifically due to threat of sanctions against countries dealing with Russia. At the time of contract signing, the Air Force was keen to acquire additional S-400 systems, and eventually manufacture them in India. While working on indigenous 400 km range LR SAN program, upgrading its S-400 and acquiring additional S-400 systems quickly will address the Air Force's operational capability drop, that have resulted due to a 30% reduction in fighter fleet strength over the years. Today's top 3 comments.